feeding the needy in the age of COVID-19. The Salvation Army tweaked its Christmas Day tradition so that nobody will go hungry this Christmas. News 5's Aaron Chapman shares with us what made this year's Christmas distribution different. The Salvation Army is continuing its Christmas Day tradition of handing out meals to the community. But this year, COVID-19 forced them to get a little creative because of the restrictions. We got sweet potatoes and cheese potatoes. The Salvation Army distributed close to 2,000 meals on Christmas Day. I feel like you have to do something on a day like today because it's the holidays and it's the day that families gather and so not everyone can be with the people they love. So the least that we can do is just give what we have. A tradition that's been around for 30 years. This is almost like a family tradition for us at this point and it's so good to be able to give to our community because we care about our community, you know? In years past, people could dine with other members of the community or show up at the shelter to pick up their meals. But as we all know, this year, obviously, everything changed because of COVID. So to keep everyone safe, there were no in-person gatherings. But instead, many volunteers handed out or delivered the meals to people's doorsteps, including Victoria Dottenagen. It's just the day that I can just do my part to remind everybody that even in the middle of the coronavirus, when things are so dark, there's still people who care about them and want to spread joy. The Salvation Army says going into today, they knew the need for meals would be higher than previous years. A lot of people have been uh, furloughed or they've been getting reduced hours because of COVID. So this year, Captain Doug Hansen, Salvation Army officer, was sure to help those in need. People might have lost hope during this season, and we're just one other way that we can reinstill hope into other people, that there are those that care. Hansen says the Army was astonished by all of the support from people. We're always overwhelmed by the response from the community that wants to help other people. In fact, they actually had so many volunteers this year, they had to turn some away. So as we inch closer to the end of the year that came with so many challenges, Hansen wants to share a message from the Salvation Army. So if you're going through a tough time, not just because it's Christmas, you're hearing about this on Christmas Day, the Salvation Army is here to help well after it. We've been around, we've been around for 150 years and we're not going anywhere. Doing the most good in El Paso County. Now, if you're interested in volunteering for next year's holiday meal tradition or anything else that the Salvation Army does throughout the year, you can head to our website at koaa.com where you can learn more. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Aaron Chapman, News 5.